Remember that we can add integrals. So the integral from 3 to 12 of f can be split up into the integral from 3 to 5 of f plus the integral from 5 to 12 of f. In the first integral, we are explicitly given its value as 8. The second integral, the integral from 3 to 5, is actually what we're looking for. So we can think of that as our unknown x. In the third integral, we're not actually given this value, but we're given something similar. Notice we're looking for the integral from 5 to 12. We're given the integral from 12 to 5 where the limits of integration have been flipped. So to get the integral from 5 to 12, we simply need to change the sign of this value. This integral is 15. So if we flip the limits of integration, it's going to be negative 15. And now solving for x, we get that x is 23. That means the integral from 3 to 5 of f of x dx is 23. 23. 23.